You're with Julian on the Brown Note and um, another piece on Ukraine. I try and add to these endless stream of pieces on Ukraine when I sort of have something more original to add to um, stuff I've already said. I've, I've, I've sort of conjectured um, how did such a politically savvy operator as Vladimir Putin... One of the cleverest political leaders, one of the most self-aware political leaders, uh, one of the most detailed political leaders in modern history makes such a blunder as the invasion into Ukraine. I've done lots on why the inv invasion happened to do with the encroachment over the last 30 years of NATO into the post-Soviet Republic, blah, blah, blah. But the, um, the response was so incredibly strong against him at the start the sanctions and everything else and uh you know i i conjectured about the timing why because i thought it would be over in two months and i said why did he do it now if he can get the republicans back in in uh, the midterms in november in america um as a result of the um the the financial impact of what's happening on america which will be so negative that it will probably drive the republicans back in and these rabid right-wing Republicans will be much more favourable to supporting Putin. One of the reasons is the uh, Democrats are against them, and the Republicans solely exist to oppose anything the Democrats do. Um, so it all seemed unsustainable for Russia, but here we are, and it's kind of in the back of my mind, looking like maybe Putin understood everything. Maybe this is the plan. Um... <coughs> I mean, I said it would be over in two months. I couldn't for the life of me believe that the Western world would try and fuel the war to go on for as long as possible just to hurt Russia. Because it would be economically devastating to the West, uh, a lot of incumbent governments in Western nations will be turfed out. Um, like America, if it's got the Republicans holding the House, it's essentially neutered for the rest of the term that the Democrats are in. It's the biggest thing in the world to them should be hanging on to the country for the sake of america because if the republicans get in now they are not going anywhere and good luck to holding on to dem democracy in america but maybe putin knew the west would do all of this i said a lot of times you know the thing that everyone should do and i will say again i'm not for putin i'm not for the war in, in ukraine but the number one thing that we should be doing in the west is suing for peace and no one is Everyone is just egging on Ukraine to fight for as long as possible, which is destroying Ukraine, killing Ukrainians um, just to hurt Russia. But maybe Russia knew that they were going to do that. Maybe Putin is well, a war, uh, well aware of all of this uh, all along. The US is now in a massive recession. Maybe he's getting closer and closer to those midterms. And America does, like I've said over and over, America seems and the West seem okay with throwing their people and Ukraine under a bus for the military industrial complex to make money selling arms to post-Soviet republics, no matter what the impact is on our countries. So we're now edging closer to those midterms and everything is still exactly the same. Did he know all along? Germany has just gone into a, a dramatic downturn economically they've had their gas gas cut off by russia funnily enough we thought russia would buckle under the weight of these sanctions months ago and they haven't maybe they can weather this storm better than the west can that is something that's terrifying and that is something that the public should be lobbying their governments to stop funneling the war and start suing for peace most of the Western world will be in a de facto or complete recession soon enough by the negative economic impacts of the very sanctions that we're putting on Russia. And maybe he knew all along. Latvia is having its gas calf now. And what are we doing? Oh, let's get Sweden and Finland to join NATO. There's an insanity here, and maybe this was a very long-term game by Putin, and I don't think anyone's saying that. The West start, used the invasion of Ukraine, which we knew was coming at some point, to launch a de facto war against Russia. But maybe Putin launched a de facto war against the West by invading Ukraine. 
Maybe further weakening the West was his goal all along. Stop calling him shaky hand who's on deathbed. This, our reporting on this conflict, I've said over and over, is the most one-sided I've seen on any conflict in, in the history of modern warfare. It has been so relentlessly one-sided. It's not serving anyone to call him a madman or a despot or trying to invent some cartoon character villain. It doesn't serve any purpose to say that he's got these health problems or that you know he's about to be assassinated. None of these things have happened, have they? How, how many months ago were you reading about his health problems? About how he's at death's door? About how he's going to be toppled and assassinated? It's looking pretty solid now. <clears throat> and then you've got America doing absolutely nuts things like choosing now to support Taiwan. You could have supported Taiwan at any point up to now, and now you're supporting Taiwan, which is creating a homogenized block of China and Russia. The people running this game maybe are solely the military industrial complex. And if you want a good example of why this might be not so far-fetched an idea, Russia and Ukraine just made a deal to open ports to send grain to third world countries. The West is not the world. The rest of the non-Western world is not as opposed to Russia's war in Ukraine as you think, or as we are. And if he <coughs> is trying to alleviate the food crisis caused by this war, he is hanging the West out to dry. As always, I will say, sue for peace. It's the best thing for the West. It's the best thing for Ukraine. It's the best thing for the whole world. But just dramatically underestimating Putin is the dumbest move any of us can make. <clears throat>